Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. This episode of Goalie Smarts is going to be a bit different, but important nonetheless. As hockey goalies, we're at an interesting crossroads. On one hand, we're hockey players, the only athletes that have to fight girls off with a stick just to get to work. On the other hand, we're hockey goalies, who apparently have a reputation for being the weirdest human beings on planet Earth. A reputation, by the way, that we completely embrace. Yes, we're the ones who decided to spend our entire athletic careers flailing around in a blue rectangle while people fire rock-hard pucks into our balls. This mix of personalities makes our dating life a bit conflicted. If you're watching this video, I take it you want to pick up some babes. Well, calm the fuck down, because in Goalie Smarts Episode 9, Guillaume is going to teach you how to pick up smoke shows. Step 1. Don't smell like ass. Not smelling like ass is very difficult for most hockey players. Reason being is there's a myth out there that says that hockey equipment is the worst smelling equipment in all of sports. That's because they've never smelled hockey goalie equipment. As a player, you can throw a set of shoulder pads in the wash, no problem. But as a goalie, I dare you to try to put a set of pillows in the wash. Especially when you've had the colors custom ordered and uh, your name stitched in the boot. And I know I can technically fit my glove in the wash, but just by my hand being in there alone, I can tell that it's an incredibly complex device with many delicate working parts that make it open and close. And the fact that it costs $700 and a year to get shipped, I think I'll just use Purell. If you've been playing hockey long enough, you probably have some sort of industrial grade shower gel that can burn a hole through time and make an entire sewer smell like the island of Fiji. After a practice or game, do not be within 30 feet of an attractive girl or any human for that matter, without a complete dousing of this substance. Unless, of course, you want to forever be known as a swamp monster. Step two, identify yourself. Make sure you're wearing some sort of hockey apparel everywhere you go. There is no point in playing hockey unless everybody knows it. I don't care if you're decked out in gong show gear. I don't care if you're repping your favorite NHL team. I don't care if you're wearing your old middle school division championship shirt that doesn't really fit you anymore. Wear something hockey everywhere you go. You never know when a puck bunny is in your vicinity. Also, consider growing flow. Many of today's hockey players have an array of disturbingly long hairstyles. This is an easy way to be identified as a member of the hockey family. A big salad and a backward CCM hat screams, I play hockey, sit on my face. Step three, be creative with dates. I hate to break it to you, but nothing will dry up a girl faster than watching your disgraceful junior C team get railed by a gang of clowns. So showing her your hockey lifestyle might not be the best thing to do right away. This is the ring? Yeah. It's gross. Is that pizza? That's mine. Instead, try doing some different things. For example, taking her out for hikes. Or taking her out to dinner. Or taking her to see real hockey players. And if she ever asks to see you in a game, do not let her go. If she watches you play, she'll find out that you're not even in the neighborhood of being drafted. So not only will she know you're bad at hockey, but she'll also know that you're full of shit. So how come I never get to see you play? Uh, I, we, we play a lot of away games. Yeah, we, we, we travel a lot and stuff, so yeah. So you don't have any home games? No, no. Why not? Uh, our home rink actually caught on fire uh, and is an indoor swimming pool now, so. Whatever. Step four, make shit up. One of the greatest traditions in the locker room, the one thing that binds male hockey players together is telling crazy sex stories that never happened. Did you take that friend of a friend out to the beach and make out with her in your car for 10 minutes? No. You took a model out to a fancy dinner and had a threesome with her twin sister in her dad's Bentley. Is any of that true? Of course not, but that doesn't matter. What matters is your teammates will be leaving the locker room saying, yo, that kid pulls. As always guys, thanks for listening. If you are interested in one of these shirts, I will be giving them away to a random Twitter follower. Make sure you're following me, at Bui. They're also for sale on my website. Click here for that. And if you're interested in my latest sketch I did about ancient aliens, click right here for that. I'm Guillaume Duclair, I'm out.